All right, so it is finally time to talk about the most interesting part of this course, the marketplaces. When it comes to the dark web, the marketplaces are the most visited sites. They account for over 80% of the total traffic on the dark web. And some of these sites, like we said before with the Silk Road, they do billions in sales over just a few years. So um, for such a small sector of the internet, it has such a crazy amount of traffic. And if you don't already know, the marketplaces are used to buy and sell products and services. This is the real life online black market. And while it is legal to view, most of the time it is illegal to buy. But the products on these sites are from many different countries and people, which is kind of what makes it cool. It's a very unifying type of thing. So be sure you have your Tor browser open. We're going to go back to that right now. And be sure to grab a link from darkwebacademy.com slash links for your choice of the marketplace to continue throughout this module. All right, so now back over on the Tor browser, we are gonna go ahead and paste the link we grabbed from Dark Web Academy slash links. And this link is for the site Alpha Bay. And Alpha Bay is the most popular market out there right now. But while you're watching this, it may not be up anymore. Uh, so be sure you grab a different link if this site is down or anything like that. So one of the first things you'll notice about most of the sites on the dark web is they'll have a DDoS protection captcha at the beginning here. All you have to do is enter the characters. We got J8 backslash underscore V. Um, sometimes they are case sensitive, which means if you see a lowercase J, you should probably put a lowercase J. Um, not all the time, but it's best to follow it as closely as possible because some are and some aren't. So you can see here Alpha Bay is loading up. And you'll notice right off the bat here that Alpha Bay is a very nicely designed site. Most of the marketplaces on the dark web actually look like normal, regular working internet sites. They don't look all hard to navigate and like they're from the 90s. Uh, most of them are updated with new code and new design. But you can see here it gives us a few options. Right here it brought us to a login page, but we don't really want to log. We want to register. So we'll start off and fill out some information. So our username will be dark web tester. Our password will also be dark web tester. And to confirm it, we will put it in again. And then a pin. Uh, this can be any pin you want. For this one, we'll keep it simple. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the login phrase will be pin easy, just in case I happen to forget. And then this is your invite user. When you're using the links from darkwebacademy.com, it'll automatically fill with Dark Web Guru. That is the site name we use for most of our marketplaces. But you don't have to put that if you don't want to say you're registered by anyone. And then you can see here, you can put other information like uh, profile information, text, your PGP key. Uh, we'll add the website here. But other than that, we don't really need to add anything else. So we'll go down here, there is one more captcha, and we're being trying to be case sensitive as much as possible. So we'll go ahead and press join, and if everything checked out and looked okay, it'll join for us. And then what it'll do is it'll give us this, it's called a mnemonic. A mnemonic is just a bunch of words uh, forming a sentence that you can use to recover your lost key. So obviously, like regular websites, you don't put in your email address to Alphabay, so you need something to be able to get back your password. So this is when it gives you a mnemonic. And it's important to remember this. For me, I'll just go ahead and copy it to be sure I have it, but I don't need to really remember it as this account isn't permanent. And there you go, guys. You press finish there and it logs in just fine. So there's a lot of things to look at off the bat here. And we'll start with the simplest. At the top right, it shows where you're logged in. It shows the current price of Bitcoin. And most sites will have something like this on their site. And then it gives you the listings down here and some profile information as well. So these sites are not very hard to navigate. They make sense uh, to most people, but some people may have issues. All you really need to do is navigate down to these categories and just press on one. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the services uh, to try to keep the visuals as clean as possible here. Obviously, uh, there are some things like uh, digital products. A lot of the time will contain pornographic things, and obviously drugs will have drugs in them. So don't go looking where you don't want to find stuff. But you can see there's a lot of different stuff for sale. And we won't go too much into how to actually buy products and get Bitcoin safely onto the marketplace. If you want to learn about that, uh, you need to take the guru guide to marketplaces on darkwebacademy.com. But this was just a general overview of how to register for markets and how to 
navigate them. It's pretty simple. Um, it's more of a trial and error type thing you need to learn on your own or just take that marketplaces course. But there's not much to it, guys. A lot of people think it's a lot more, but it's really not. I mean, if I wanted to right now buy this PayPal cash out, you just press it and you buy it and that's it. It's pretty simple, and uh, obviously they have a guide on telling you what's what it's about and all that. Um, a lot of people will have reviews as well under your feedback. And that's about it, guys. Hopefully this gave you a better understanding of how dark web marketplaces work. If you have any more questions, of course, you can email support at darkwebacademy.com, or you can take that marketplaces guide at darkwebacademy.com as well. But time to continue to the next section where we'll talk a little bit more about the terminology and acronyms used with the dark web. As it goes for the desktop, guys, we are all finished. Uh, this is the last time we'll be using Tor in this course. So congratulations on that. And feel free to continue to use and explore Tor as much as possible. But now it's time to head to that next module and learn a little bit more about acronyms.